Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. I will explain, explain fabulous Friday in a minute. Anyway, you saw the dumb thumbnail. Pop the pianissimo. Pop goes the pianissimo. All right? Very, very important. I've hardly played a note. Let's see what we got, and we'll take it from there. soft as I possibly can okay I'm not sure if it's gonna the, the difference in the um, the uh, volume is going to come out in the laptop but you get the idea double C's and some tartini taken nice and slow and in an absolute whisper okay now here's the deal guys every note has to pop and that gets lost in the shuffle when I am teaching uh, I was just talking with one of my students now another thing guys he just adapted the kettlebell to his workout loves it loves it he's a yoga guy and I'm very very interested that going forward if this uh, kettlebell should help his flexibility with the yoga as well so I'm really interested to see how that goes down the road now back to the articulations guys every note we play had to pop has to pop has to okay um, but that doesn't always mean knock the walls down or sforzando or staccato. You notice the last couple of things, I went from a, a Baroque kind of bounce to a very, very long legato, da, 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 da. But each note popped. Okay? Now, that volume level could fit with any harp player. Beep, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, 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 bum. Anyone. I don't know if it came across. I'm not going to know until I go back and listen to it as well. Okay? But, guys, the piano playing, pianissimo, has to pop. It still has to pop. It comes from the same articulation. Okay? And it doesn't have to be staccato. It can be legato, but it still has to pop. And it's very, very easy if you, especially when you're new at this, okay, when you're coming from a different point of view, when you are playing, you know, especially legato passages, and especially uh, classical or orchestral legato passages, la, 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 that, is, that, that is the whole technique, okay? But the great ones didn't play that way. Maurice was the king. Nobody was more refined. Nobody was, was more articulate. Nobody was more, I, I mean, just so precise in every single articulation he had. But even in the uh, lightest and fluffiest and bounciest of passages, each note popped. Mel, every note popped. I mean, actually, that was a loud passage, but anyway, and Mel wouldn't do that in the orchestra. Herson, same thing. That was a ballerina dancing. You listen to Herseth do that. 
it's not, it's not like you're going to knock the ballerina over with a sforzando just because you're popping it. Listen to per Herseth's Petrushka. It's gorgeous, but each note pops. Okay? It's the same articulation. It's the same tension in the lips. None. It's the same air. You're just controlling it all with the tongue. The tongue-controlled embouchure. As I said, I'm trying to get away from that, but I can see why Jerry used the term. It's perfect. All right? So even though you're playing soft, the notes still must pop. All right? I meant to tell you, Friday. Friday when you're a teacher, and I know there's some teachers out there, there is nothing better in the whole world than Friday afternoon after the kids are gone. Even Saturday was always my errand day. I had to do the groceries and I had this, that, and the other thing to do. So my, my, errand, my Saturday was always busy. But something about Friday afternoon, man. I loved it when I was teaching. Loved it. But here's the thing. When you're retired, <laughs> every day's Friday. <laughs> Retirement is great, man. It's absolutely great. I suggest all of you give it a try. All right? All right. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff. True power. Love you all. Okay.